Are you still fat? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Saw, dude. Look, I actually washed my face and not waking up from a nap and don't look busted as f for once. That's crazy. That's crazy. The skin looks glowing. Look at that. I shaved for y'all. I need y'all to know that, okay? Yeah, so I'm back filming. Uh, look at, again, check out the fit. Crazy fit, huh? Let's see. The real one. Okay. Okay. Eight help. buck. Eight buck. How do you think I bought this house? What are you, still rent? All right, that was, that was kind of mean. Bro, you spending that much? $40, $50 on a t-shirt? Might as well spend less money. Buy some chicken and rice. Putting money into the wrong place. I'm just saying, I sound like a boomer right now, but you know I'm right. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm gonna, again, try to put a little bit more effort into it. Trying to get in the habit of it, man. These are the first few videos was just, there I turn the camera on, go. So, today I wanna talk about something it's been on my mind for a little bit, an interesting hypothesis I have. Lifting alone versus with a training partner. I think there's pros and cons and advantages to both, but I'll tell you what, I've always trained alone for a majority of my lifting career journey, and I've been lifting for quite a bit, but it's just something I've always done. I go in there, I put my headphones on, or you know, if I forget them, I'll just get in there and just focus, and it's like a meditative state. I'm just there to work. I'm very social, I, I yap, you can tell, but when I'm in the gym, I'm just there to train and focus. I've always trained this way and occasionally, once in a while, I'll like to have a friend come train with me, but I usually tell them, hey, I'm doing this program. I'm sticking to this program. You can join me if you want. I'm there to work. Like, don't get it twisted. I don't, I can't stand people who are there just yapping. And this is my boomer take. If you're in there just to hang out, like just, ugh, it's fine. I need to be more accepting, which is like, like, if you're just in the gym, just playing around and just socializing, like, I don't know, my philosophy is you should be in there and you're hurting yourself. Like you can talk between sets, between, you know, whatever with your training partner. There's some gyms I go to where I've actually built like a little community. I've always went there quietly, put my headphones on, but slowly you see the same faces. You start to ask, hey, how many sets? And you get into conversations and I'm again, very outgoing. So I just naturally made a little community there of friends, which is great. Love those guys. If you guys are watching, I, I love y'all. I haven't come to that gym in a while, but it, 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 we, it, it gets a little distracting. Like. A lot of these guys power lift so they can take the infinite breaks and they're strong and they're I'm at a level I'm still kind of like learning the ropes of this like bodybuilding stuff. I need time to fo I need to focus. I need to keep my my pace up and I need to get come back home and eat and go to sleep. I got a lot of things going on. I gotta stay on my schedule. You know, if I keep too long, I lose intensity and then the muscle rest. And that's another thing. There's again, why I said pros and cons to it. One thing I notice is when I'm training alone. You know, I'm always in my own little headspace, you know, the, the Sigma, loner, villain, or whatever. Not really, but like, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm in my own head, I gotta focus. Sometimes I'm like dreading a set. If you've had that before, like with today, deadlifts, I always get a little nervous. Like, I mean, squats especially. Like, I'm like, all right, I gotta, you know, my coach has me doing higher volume sets of 12 for compounds and 20 for isolation on leg days. It's, it's, it's rough, it's an out of body experience. It takes a while to get used to. And you, I gotta get mentally ready for it. Just like I said in the last video, the pre-workout begins when your last workout ends. I gotta know, okay, I got legs tomorrow. I need to sleep, I need to eat properly. Make sure I take a nap. Again, I said that's a part of it. One thing I forgot to mention in that video is pre-workout dumps. I'm about to do deadlifts. I can't, I ate about two hours ago. If I ate now and I'm gonna leave in like 30 minutes, this would not go well. I'm gonna have, I have a belt on sometimes too, squeezing against my stomach. You gotta, if you ever had to go to the bathroom when you're squatting or deadlifting, the worst feeling worlds. But pre-workout naps, helpful, probably crucial. Pre-workout poops, necessity. Can't leave a home without it. Just saying. TMI. I know. I'll worry about a set coming up. Just kind of feel this like anxiety. You know, like oh, like the first set it didn't go so well. You're like, I don't know if I'm gonna hit it again. You get, I get nervous. I like, I, I have my Apple Watch just to keep track of my time to make sure I'm not. But you know, screwing around too long. So I do feel like there's a balance of taking a, a long rest period versus a short, you know, or keeping it tight-ish. Like when, as soon as you're ready to go again, I don't pay attention to time. It's however long it takes. As soon as I'm ready to go physically, you know, and mentally, it's a mental thing. CNS, getting that ready. You know, I get a little nervous when I'm training alone. But what I've noticed is when I'm at the gym and it's like an environment where it's a little friendly, maybe I know someone or someone might, I know says hi or, catches me within a set, it, it kind of like raises my, and this is my bro science hypothesis, so take it for what you will. But I feel like it's a little, like your dopamine goes up and when you're working out, you're, you know, if I'm not mistaken, your cortisol levels are higher, your stress is higher. 
you're breaking your muscle down. And, and you know, as soon as you're done working out, you want to get in eating food and sleeping and relaxing, and resting, getting into an anabolic state versus catabolic. I feel like talking to people between sets or laughing or engaging in something that'll lift you up and de-stress you is performance boosting. Again, I don't care about all the science behind it, but I can just tell you anecdotally, I've had those moments where I'm like, okay, I gotta get this set. Right. And then it's like, oh, what's up, my boy? Whatever. I'll get or or now I actually just get on my phone and get on Discord. I'll we'll have a some you know crazy craziness happening in the chat and it, it makes me laugh. And then I'm like, oh, and I relax and I'm like, all right, let's do it. And I feel I can go again harder, if not better than last time, better than the last set. And usually as your sets go along, I mean sometimes you'll you'll notice your performance dips, you get more fatigued. I don't know what it is. But that's my hypothesis. Like, if you talk or chat or joke around or you know banter between sets with someone you like, your friend, loved one, or maybe a little you know maybe a little ting, uh, you know, a chick you like, I feel like it does really like relax that cortisol, get you in a better mindset, resets you, calms your nerves down, calms your CNS down, so you can go again and even harder. That's why I think there is a, that advantage to training with a training partner. I've noticed when I do train with my little brother or anyone else, I mean, I get a little distracted, but when I'm in my set, things just feel lighter. I can't even, I push as hard as I can and just the weights just fly up. Like I can't really even stress my body. And that's awesome. I think that's why a lot of bodybuilders, like the uh, pro level guys might even do um, training partners like that. Any hoosers, I, that, yeah, that's my hypothesis. I mean, I don't, want to completely rely on another person on their schedule when to train how to train ever that's just something i thought about for a while about you know training alone the advantages is again you set your own schedule set your own pace it's a lot quicker it's a little lonely but it's the easiest thing you don't need to rely on anyone that's how, it's like the default state everyone's technically alone you live alone you die alone you should train alone but I think every once in a while, for me, it's nice to have it. And again, I, I don't rely on it. I think it's just a nice little, it's like a little treat. But some people, it's like a necessity. They need that accountability. They can't get out of bed. They won't even train without the other person. It's fine. Or if you're lifting super crazy weights, you'll need a legit spotter. You need someone who knows what they're doing. Because you might not want to rely on some rando from the gym, or there might not be anyone else in the gym. You might be at a gym with not the right equipment or safeties, blah, 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 what have you. So it depends, right? Just my thought. If you guys have thoughts on it, you know, feel free to leave them in the comments, share, like, thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that. Bell icon. Uh, and I will see you next time, or at least after the gym, maybe I'll post a little pump ski. All right, so back day. So actually before this, I did do deadlifts, but bless my brother's heart, it was his first time recording and he got some really wonky angles and it wasn't my best deadlift form because we were kind of rushed and he had a lot of people in the background, which I always hate, so just excluded it. So we're starting off here with this voiceover for this hammer strength pull downs. Sometimes I do these isolated instead of my regular pull ups. I feel like I get more activation in my lats. And uh, you can see mess go to failure there. I think I went a little heavier after this too. I think it just felt super light. Um, same thing with my rows. Actually, right before this, I did more lat pull downs. So I'm starting to fatigue, but I like to get these rows and really at this angle to get a good stretch right there and then pull it. And looking back at the video footage, it's really good for me to go back and critique and see, okay, maybe I could be pulling up a little higher. I can adjust my foot stance or the angle I'm pulling at. Instead of doing a flat, maybe I can do a uh, you know, slightly higher uh, angle, which I have been trying lately. Um, usually I've been doing like maybe 75, 80s, but the 85 felt really light. I think I went up to 90 after this. But again, it's good to go back and see, okay, maybe it felt great, but probably slow down on my eccentric and control a little bit more but still got a good activation there then we did t-bar rows i love these i do these with these total 25 pound bad boys so i can get a little bit more range of motion a deeper stretch um, again it's good to look at my form to see okay maybe i could have gotten heavier maybe i need to work on my position and stance but uh, we had a lot more we did after this you know rows a couple more cable rows and arms yeah i uh, just got back from the gym i will say this it Weights felt way lighter. Like I said, my hypothesis definitely felt it. I don't think if, I think if my brother wasn't there, because actually last week, it's been weird. We've been alternating, like almost every other week we've been lifting together. Last week I lifted alone because I had stuff going on. I think I was editing my last video. I was about the same weights like I was this week, but this week I think things just kind of felt lighter. It's a good workout, I'm tired. Just gotta be careful. Anyways, it'd be cool to get in 
you know, more views and subscribers. Right now, we just gotta do it for the love of the game, baby. We just gotta get creative. We just gotta keep the creative juices flowing. I have some ideas for content I have lined up. Again, not necessarily just the fitness channel. I'm just doing this as kind of like a, um, a series. Kind of have an idea until I hit about uh, the one year mark working with my coach. And then I'm gonna transition to different things. I'm, I'm planning, inshallah. We'll see how it goes. Um, just gonna take it one video at a time. Sound good? All right, good. See you next time. That'd be great. Bell icon, let your friends know. Bookmark it, just like help a brother out. You know what I'm saying? If not, I understand. I'm not your dad. Peace.